YouTube, what is happening, man? It's the Kid Zed back at it again with another video. Let me check the mic. Let me check the mic. Kind of rusty, you know. Better make sure everything's plugged in. All right, everything looks good to go. But anyways, man, what's happening, man? I hope you guys are having a good day, man. Um, guys, first time tuning in, man. I do thrift finds and whatnot on this channel. Sometimes a Ross find. Um, yeah. So let's get right into it, man. I'll show you guys what I found at Ross in Burlington. Then we'll get into the thrifts. I found some fire. So here's my first item up. I found this uh, cool like little throwback Nike shirt. It has that, you know, netting material. Big check. This was $12.99. Retailed at Nike for 45 bucks. Then it has a cool little thing on the back in case you want to customize it. A little patch. Pretty cool, man. If you guys don't know, I am a product of the... I grew up in the 90s. Cool little stitch right there. Um, these next things, man. These things were fire, man. I seen the I seen some. Uh, let me show you uh, what I found before that. I found a Fear of God Converse collab. I'll put the picture right there. I found those, and I was all excited because it was a nine and a half. But I looked at the tag; it was an eight in mint, which I thought would have been kind of hard to move. So I passed on them. But I found these things right here. These things right here are clean, man. If you guys recall, I found somewhat of a similar style at Bur or Ross. Yeah, it was at Ross, but they had it was brown. And it didn't have, I don't know what's going on here, but it didn't have as much going on like with that. But it had that same kind of plastic feeling. I dig that purple, man. That purple is fire. I have no idea what these are, but I don't, if you guys know me, man, Adidas have been kind of taking over. They're pretty comfortable to wear, man. You just throw them on your feet and you're good to go. Nothing to, you know, you don't. Like sometimes in my ones, I wear those four shields. And man, them, hurt, them things hurt my feet. But these things, you just put them on and just go. Uh, these were $29.99, I think. 20, yeah, it's twenty nine ninety nine. Came up to like thirty four bucks. Um, these next two things are thrift finds. Yeah, they're thrift finds. Uh, I'll show you the first thing. Unfortunately, I did cop these online, but I didn't. I didn't have the patience to wait for these. This last year, this other. I don't know what's going on with FedEx, but this uh, FedEx has been taking a long ass time. So I don't know what's going on with FedEx. Um, so I opened them just to check them out because in the pictures they look pretty good. Like which they are. These are size six and a half. And they're pretty clean, man. This is actually one of my favorite Retro 6 colorways um, to release the All-Star 6. Because it's green, but in certain lighting, it has like a hint of purple, like right there. Um, these are called the, some people, the I guess they're called the, like the Chameleonaires or something. But they're uh, All-Star 6s. Somewhat of a iridescent color, so you could kind of see the purple right there. This is a pretty clean shoe, man. Size 6.5 wide. Uh, I scored these for... Under 50 beans. Um, I wanted to sell them, but I honestly just might give them away. I don't, I don't know yet. Uh, but I was honestly just waiting on this last pair to come in. Um, I'm going to save the best pair for last. Well, this this pair is a pretty good pair right here. And this is a size 5.5, and, and it came in a box. Got my lucky, you know, hunter's knife my Auntie Gina gave me for Christmas a few years ago. Um, so, yeah, I literally just picked this up, man. This shipped out um like a week and a half ago and man it, i don't know what's going on with fedex man comment down below if your packages are getting all jacked like this because i feel like uh fedex is like they say there's like severe storm warnings like throughout the where they're at so it takes a while for the tracking to kick in but this one it was at its location for like a good three, four days before it actually moved. And it finally hit Oregon a couple nights ago. I was like, oh, it might be here tomorrow. I think it was Sunday. It hit Oregon. Monday, it hit Oregon. I was like, oh, it's going to be here on Tuesday. And nope, Tuesday night came and it hit Troutdale, Oregon. So here they are, man. I'm pretty excited. Woo. Woo. Let me show you guys what I got going on in the box. Ah, dang, some tr uh, true blue. I almost said true blue threes. Some black cement threes, man. Size five and a half. Sheesh. Let's get that other side out for you guys. Here is the, I don't know what this is. Cool. Oh, the scan code, you know, for who bought them. But this is, I want to say the 2017, 2018 version. Because it has the Nike Air on the back. It's pretty crazy because, uh. The pair that I thrifted like way back actually showed up here. See, this is a six and a half, I believe. Yeah, this is a six and a half. And I thrifted these from the exact same uh, site. 
uh, exact same spot but the bottoms I left them on the car and the bottoms just came off but I am currently in the learning process of learning how to do that I'm doing my uh, retro 15s right now at the moment but I'm currently I did it once before with this same shoe and I did all right for not knowing what I did they held up pretty good for about a year oh excuse me then my knees was at school and they fell apart so but here they are man the black cement threes man with the Nike Air on the back bottoms are clean kind of dirty right there but the stars are looking pretty good it does show a little sign of wear but they're all still there oh that's a flow right there I'm not a rapper this side's pretty clean whoo these things are fire man oh these are a 6y what the heck I thought there's a five and a half this whole time what the but the Nike Air is still on the inside there's the tag for you Sticker still on the inside. These are probably just worn one time. This is a pretty clean shoe right here, man. I honestly, what the heck, man? Let me pull up the thing right here for you, man. I don't, I can't recall if these were a six or a five and a half. I thought there's a five and a half. Oh man, but these things are clean, man. Uh, for you know what? Let me take this tag off. I don't know what this tag is for, but it could have been scratching up my shoes, my guy. So people over at that site, man. Next time, leave this paper clip thing off. All right, took that tag off. I'll uh, show you the other side. The, man, these barely have any creases. Man, if you ask me, these are a hard 9 out of 10 condition, man. Like, look at that. Man, this is an all-in clean shoe, man. I have a pair of these. Uh, it's pretty crazy. When I scored my size, I actually walked in the... What the heck's it called? I walked in the... Full locker a few days later and they said their shipment was late so that's pretty cool but yeah man these are pretty clean man a size six y i don't know why i thought there's a five and a half this whole time i think it's because this next shoe is a five and a half but yeah man the moment you guys have all been waiting for man this is a pretty fire shoe man um i found it at random so here it is i found these at goodwill a real goodwill like a, a, a good a goodwill location here it is the pure money fours man look at that condition they're size four and a, or five and a half that's why i probably keep calling the six or the threes of five and a half there's how much i paid for them man that ruckus is nuts man look at that bottom star still in place let me show you the other side i actually just uh washed the laces because the laces look kind of dusty but man for you know these came out in these came out in 2016 maybe 2017 2016 but these things are gorgeous man uh the last sale on stock x was pretty crazy i'll put the screenshot right there but that was the screenshot for like when i found these like last week it's pretty crazy these this was like fate or something man because i went down to go sell those low top sixes and fives to my bro doug and he's like, what are you doing? And he wasn't doing nothing. He's like, what are you doing, bro? I was on nothing, really. Just came down to sell these shoes. And he's like, let's take a trip to Oregon, man. Go check out your thrifts. So I was like, I don't know, man. I, like, I kind of don't want to, you know, because I barely had money. I just had like what I had, what he had gave me. And I was like, ah, you know, I kind of thought about it. I kept thinking, I was like, ah, F it, man. Let's go. I was like, I'll never know what I could find. And I found these, man. This was the only pair I was able to cop because you know uh, he was looking for shoes for auction so he copped some 13s uh what else some 13s some futures some d roses uh i can't remember what other shoes he found but yeah this was probably the best one i'm honestly i can't be mad uh the thing barely worn tag still sticker still in there i tried to take out the insoles but the glue was so sticky that it was starting to peel off so i kind of just left it in there jump man still intact this is a five and a half man like this thing right here i don't know who wears a five and a half man but i couldn't pass up on 20 beans man so yeah that is today's video man i wanted to i kind of wanted to bunch these all into one video because i didn't want you know to make a video just on this one shoe you know because i mean that's cool that's a cool video like if uh it's a cool video if you like if it's something like the taxi 12 or those concords i copped um, it's a cool video when it's like that, but when it's just something like this, I, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't, like, make a whole video out of this one shoe. Like, it's a cool shoe. It's my favorite colorway in the thing. And check this out. My homie actually showed me this thing because a lot of people put, take this lace lock. 
right? And they put it on the first one. But what you notice is that it uh, kind of damages these if you got a bigger size. So my homie showed me to put it on the second la la lace level, man. Like, which is pretty fire, man. I, I just forgot to do it on that one. But yeah, so I kind of wa waited for uh, these ones to come in because I wanted to bunch them all in one video, you know, because these are pretty fire. Those Pure Money 4s are pretty fire. And I just scored those Burlington in that Ross shirt at, at random. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to wait it out and uh, bunch them all in one video. So yeah, man, if you're new here, man, please consider smashing the like and subscribe button down at the bottom. It'd be much appreciated. And if not, man, can you at least like the video, man? That helps my video get pushed out to more people like, yo, so-and-so watch this video. I don't know how the YouTube algorithm, algor I can't say the word. I don't know how that ruckus works, you know, but I know likes help it out. Um, and if you could share the video, it'd be much appreciated. Oh, my phone just went off. But yeah, uh, so until next time, man, I will see you guys later.